Good morning, students. It is so great to have you back in the building. I want to welcome you back to school. My name is Mr. Schaefer, and I have the privilege of serving as your principal this school year. This morning, I want to do a couple introductions, talk about our building and house structure, school safety, and then finish up with a couple miscellaneous reminders. So the first thing I want you to know is this building is packed with individuals who are here because they love you, they care for you, and they're here to create a safe and supportive environment for every single student in our building. So whether you need help with your locker today or you're lost and you can't find your class, just ask any of these adults. Almost every day we have about 150 individuals in our building here to support you. Counselors, teachers, assistants, administrators, every single adult in this building is here for you. So yes, I am getting old. I've been in Loudoun County Public Schools for over 20 years now. I love this school. I love this community. This is my eighth year here at Riverbend. There's a lot of different things that I do in Loudoun County and also throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia. This is a picture of my family. My daughter created this picture. My wife and I have three kids. Our oldest is a sophomore. Then we have a rising, tenth, or rising eighth grader and a rising fifth grader. So as a parent, I have a child in elementary, middle, and high school. So yes, it's a little crazy in my home. I love sports, I love DC sports, my favorite being the Washington football team. And then you should know that everybody in this building loves the North Carolina Tar Heel basketball team. So I hope we don't have any Duke fans out there because at Riverbend, we all cheer for UNC. Sometimes students will say, do you like to play video games? Um, I will occasionally, it's kind of rare, but occasionally play video games with my kids or their friends. Uh, I'm not very good at all. I'm, I'm pretty decent at one game, Madden football. That would be my favorite, but I don't play a lot of video games. I do love to be outside. So anything outdoors, camping, biking, running, anything outdoor, I love. All right, so this building, River Bend, is massive, especially if you're brand new, maybe you came from elementary school or another smaller school. Um, yes, there are a lot of people in this building, almost 1,400 people some days. Uh, but what's so great about this building is it's broken down into a house structure where all of our eighth graders are in house A, seventh graders house B, sixth graders house C. I'm gonna zoom in here on a shot. This is sixth grade. In sixth grade, all the sixth grade lockers are there. We have sixth grade restrooms your support structure of your administrative assistant, your dean, your counselor are all right there. For the most part, uh, most of your classes will be right there in the house. Sometimes uh, we have seventh graders or eighth graders in a different house, maybe a world language class or algebra. This picture of the restroom in house A, so we have a uh, boys and girls restroom right there for our eighth graders. We also have single use restrooms uh, that are locked off and available to anyone, students or staff in the building. If you have questions about that, you can always see me, see your dean, see your counselor, but there's always a restroom available for every individual in this building. Uh, many times we get asked uh, if you're eating in the cafeteria, where's the closest restroom? So the closest restroom is not the restroom in your house area, but it's the restrooms up near the main office. So you can always head out the cafeteria, turn left and go up and use one of those restrooms. So lockers, I know lockers uh, this summer have been the buzz. I've received lots of emails from many students here asking if we are still getting lockers. And yes, all of you are still getting lockers. I know that there are some middle schools where they are not getting lockers, but we are getting lockers here. So you will have an individual combination that's specific to you. It'll be on your schedule. Don't share that with others. Uh, that's a private number that should not be shared. If you ever forget your combination or you lose your schedule, we can help you with that. Um, you will eventually memorize it, but it will take some time. Something new this year at Riverbend and other middle schools also is the ability to carry your backpack throughout the building um, at times during the day, not throughout the entire day, uh, but there will be some times where you could carry your backpack. Some expectations about that. Um, I wanna talk to our sixth graders, okay? So sixth graders, there is no need to carry all of your supplies and have a backpack that weighs 50 pounds. You don't need to do that. But occasionally you might wanna carry a backpack 
with things for that particular class or maybe two classes in a row, okay? Seventh and eighth graders, you know that, you're good with that. Um, if you have valuable items, so that could be a cell phone or other valuable items, um, the reason we are giving you a locker is because we want you to have the ability to lock valuable items in your locker. At Riverbend, your phones need to be off and away during the school day. There are many times where teachers will use phones as an instructional tool, and uh, they will give you directions on that. But for the most part, we don't really use cell phones in our building. There are certain classes that backpacks are not allowed. So for example, uh, when you go down to physical education class, um, you don't carry your huge backpack. You could take a smaller string uh, backpack that has like a change of clothes, uh, deodorant, shoes, that kind of stuff. That's completely fine, but not your big, large backpack. And then also some classes, like an example, you might have a science class where you're doing some labs and you're moving all throughout the room. Um, and there's just not room to have 25 backpacks all over the ground. So your teacher may say, uh, for this particular class, keep your backpack in your locker. We need to respect that and keep our backpacks in the locker. And then a couple other areas where um, your backpacks need to either be in a locker or your classroom. When you're using the restroom or during lunch, you don't need to bring all that to the cafeteria. We just don't really have the space to accommodate that. So keep that in your locker or classroom. All right, uh, our number one goal this year and every year is to keep you safe. So I want you to grow as individuals. I want you to learn a lot this year, but most importantly, I want you to be safe this school year. As we are coming off of a pandemic, and many of you have not even been in the building in over a year and a half, there are some safety measures I wanna discuss. So number one is wearing masks. I'm actually creating this video in my office with the door closed and uh, it's actually on the weekend. So there's no individuals in the building. I'm the only person here, so my mask is off. When you see me walking around the building, my mask will be on. So this is not just a rule for students, it's for students, staff, visitors, every single individual in our building needs to wear their mask. There are times when if you're comfortable, you can take your mask off. So for example, if you're outside for an activity and you feel comfortable, you can take your mask off. Some of you may wanna to continue to wear your mask outside and that's completely fine. At lunchtime, as you enter the cafeteria and you're standing in line and you're waiting to get your food, keep your mask on. Obviously, when you are eating and drinking, you're gonna take your mask off. After you eat uh, and you're just sitting there just chatting with friends, we wanna respect everyone's health and safety so you'll put your mask back on at that time. The other thing uh, I wanna always encourage you to do, I tell my kids this all the time, and they're always like, Dad, we know, we know, but it is so, it is so beneficial for all of us to frequently wash our hands with water and soap, hand sanitizer, washing your hands several times throughout the day is really important to remaining healthy. Uh, you may not know this, but our custodial team has added cleaning and disinfecting during the day and in the evening to make sure that our facility is nice and clean. When you walk in the building, uh, you may have noticed that little robot looking thing up in the corner at the main entrance, that is a thermal camera. So that is taking temperatures of every individual walking in the building, student, staff, visitors. And if someone has a fever, it'll tag them because we wanna make sure that that individual is sent home or they uh, get to the nurse just to make sure that everyone in the building is healthy, feeling good. When you're sick, we want you to stay home. And then the final one here is, and I know that this is hard with so many people in the building at once, but whenever possible, if you're in a class or you're in a situation where you can physically distance from other individuals, that's a good thing to do. Um, so three feet, six feet, whatever is possible in that, that given situation, um, we wanna encourage you to do that. Now, I know that many of you were in the building or in another building last year for the hybrid model, and there were several other mitigation practices that we followed. Like every day there was a survey that had to be done before you could come in the building, or we would check every single individual temperature coming in. We also had things like uh, a health mitigation monitor and a care room. Classrooms had different desk shields. And then for a time last year, we were required to maintain six feet of physical distancing. These mitigation practices are no longer being used at Riverbend or um, any of the schools in Loudoun County Public Schools. But again, our goal is for all of us to do our part to keep each other 
healthy and safe this entire school year. I also want to mention, you'll see some signs like this um, up throughout our building. If you see something, say something. We are all in this building responsible for the safety of our school and community. We directly work with law enforcement. Uh, many of you know Deputy Mickens. He works with the Sheriff's Office. He's stationed here at Riverbend. But there are certain things that are not allowed on a school campus. You know things like drugs and alcohol and tobacco. But there are other things like a glass bottle or medicine. So if you have medicine of any kind, you need to make sure that that is brought to the school by a parent or guardian and checked in with the school nurse. Um, but all these different uh, things here, this is in the student uh, code of conduct and also our student handbook, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. Again, our job is collectively to make sure that this is a safe building for every single individual, every student, every staff, every visitor that walks into our school. All right, a couple of reminders. So social media, if you're on social media, I know my kids are like, Dad, Facebook, that's like what the old people use. I get that, but maybe you're on Instagram uh, or Twitter or something. There's a lot of times where we will post school news. Like last week I posted um, our school musical, which will be Frozen. I'm super excited about that this year. I cannot wait, but whether pictures, videos, uh, just information about our school, upcoming events on social media. Our website is the go-to place. So all you do is Google Riverbend Middle School and you can find lots of information on here. I'm gonna scroll down here on the main page. Uh, you can see that the calendar is there. So if you want to know is today an A day, a B day, like what's happening on my birthday in March or whatever, the calendar is right there. You can see everything. I reference the code of conduct and also the student handbook. So if you click on that little link under the four student section, the student handbook is everything that you would need to know. Every school rule that applies here, um, how you can get help for certain things, bell schedules, everything is right there. Uh, many middle schools used to print off paper agendas. We now all have electronic copies of our handbook. So I want to draw your attention to our student handbook. The website has things like Spiritware. We have an online store. I want to uh, mention this today because our summer sale ends tonight at midnight. So if you want to get some cool Raven gear, get on the website tonight, order your Spiritware. We will have a fall sale a little bit later, but um, if you want, you can get in on the summer sale, which ends tonight at midnight. Also on our website, there's lots of information about programs like Schoology or Student View, uh, information about your Chromebook. Many of you have a Chromebook from last year. Uh, some of you are brand new and you will be getting your Chromebook today or tomorrow or into next week. So finally, uh, I want to go over uh, how we operate at Riverbend, and this is all of us. This is something that I say over and over again. This is in the handbook. You'll hear me on morning announcements mentioning this. But every day when you walk the halls here at Riverbend Middle School, I and every adult in this building, okay, we want you to know and believe these things. You are welcomed here no matter where you came from, how smart you are, what you look like. We expect you to treat your fellow students with respect and kindness because we never know what may have happened before coming to school or even last class. Your young men and women who are going to change the world and the opportunity to do that is today. Be honest, be kind, include everyone and own your learning. Go out and do great things. So again, it's great to spend some time with you this morning. Uh, you'll have a similar video tomorrow from your house team, your dean. Um, and again, I will be around the building every single day. I would love to meet all of you. I want to try to learn as many names as possible. So come up to me, introduce yourself. Um, it will take me a couple times, but just walk up and say, do you remember my name? Do you remember my name? And I'll eventually get, I'm hoping, every single person in this building. It's great to see you all. Have a wonderful school year, a wonderful day, and uh, enjoy your advisory and first block. We'll see you.